What's going on guys? We got a rapid disc review for you. We're gonna be doing this intro from the car because it's very hot outside. We're here in the middle of the day. It's about 95 at least. So we're gonna be doing this intro from the car. Try to save my phone from the heat a little bit. Um, today we're gonna be checking out the brand new MVP trail that just released pretty recently. We picked us up from flightfactorydisc.com. If you guys couldn't get your hands on the trail, hopefully they'll be getting a restock soon. But yeah, I was lucky enough to grab one before they sold out. Mine's coming in at 175 to 176 grams. It says 175 on the disc. So you got this beautiful seafoam green color. And I just love the stamp on this thing, guys. Like that is just such a cool stamp. Yeah, I'm peeking behind the disc a little bit. But this stamp is just freaking epic, guys. Whoever designed this, shout out to you because this is an awesome stamp. We're going to get out there and throw it a couple times for you guys. You guys know what's up. If you guys haven't entered in my giveaway yet, we're doing a, a, a giveaway at 1,000 subscribers. I will link the video down in the description where you can go like, comment, and subscribe on that video, and you'll be entered in the giveaway. So yeah, go watch that video. Make sure you get in the giveaway before we hit 1,000. Let's get out there. All right, this might be a new camera angle for you guys on the channel. We're going to be trying to stick to the shade as much as we can. Um, let's get it out there. First throw of a disc in a while, guys. All right, put that on a little hyzer out there, right into the tree. It's gonna be a good durability test there. No flip up on that though, interesting. Okay, got a little damage. First throw of the disc. See that splitting a little bit on the edge? That's where I hit that tree. It looks like it's starting to separate down a seam right here, all the way down. I don't know if you guys can see that. Also, one thing I've noticed with my trail specifically, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it looks almost like the overmold didn't quite connect to this plastic very well. I don't know if they've got some sort of different process going on or what, but it just like, I can actually get a fingernail under the overmold, which I've never been able to do on an MVP disc before. So I don't think this little separation issue is gonna be too big of a deal. Just thought I would point it out. Um, yeah, quite interesting. The dimension I picked up didn't have, doesn't have this issue. It's seamless overmold. Any other MVPs, MVP disc I've ever felt is seamless. So this one's just, I felt it almost immediately as soon as I picked this disc up. Now I did shop online at Flight Factory. Didn't actually go into the store and feel them. They're all out of stock. So I'm glad I placed my order online and did a pickup order. So anyway, we're going to try to get this throw a little flatter. I don't think the separation issue, I don't think the overmold thing is going to be a deal breaker for me at all. We're going to try to throw this thing a little bit flatter this time. Okay. Went through that tree a bit, but that was a little flatter. Has a nice straight push to it. I love the feel of a 10 speed rim versus like a 12 or 13 speed guys we are getting so close to hitting our next milestone as a youtube partner we need a thousand subscribers and we need four thousand watch hours i'll post up a little blip on the screen of how close we are you guys can see i'm coming up on the one year mark and that means my watch hours are going to start going backwards on me which means i need your guys's help i need y'all to Make sure you stay for the end of the videos. Make sure you go watch some of my older videos. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, that's all the bagging I'm gonna do. Let's get back to the review. We're gonna try to throw this thing on some Anheuser and see how stable she is. Um, on that flat throw, didn't really get a lot of turn out of it, but it did hold straight for a good bit. So I'm wondering if we put a little bit of turn on this thing, if it'll hold the turn for a good bit. Now this is 175 grams. I could've got a little lighter weight one but uh, just really love the color of the seafoam. And it's gonna make this a pretty reliable driver, even though it's a 10 speed, slightly stable, understable. I think it's still gonna be a nice, reliable driver. If there's a little bit of headwind, you'll probably still be able to throw this disc. It's not so flippy that you won't be able to do that. Just put it on a little more hyzer. So here we go. We're gonna try to throw the Anheuser shot here. Through that nose up yeah nose up no anheuser and a little bit of headwind it just kind of stalled the disc out we're gonna go try to redo that i will say though that still went pretty far 
even though I messed up the throw, I think being a 10 speed, it's a little bit more forgivable. It's kind of closer to that fairway driver. So it's kind of a little bit more forgivable on the angle. If you mess up the angle a little bit, like on a 12 speed, like time lapse or something like that, it's just gonna fade out immediately. It's gonna absolutely show that nose angle was bad. And this thing still went pretty far, even though I messed up that nose angle. I can't throw anhyzer, guys. I can just throw flat. <laughs> Sorry, I can't throw anhyzer. But we're not really getting a lot of turn out of that thing. Let's see if we can get some on a, on a forehand. Now, I know on a forehand I can get a little chop on it. Much easier than throwing a backhand anhyzer. So we're going to try that today. See how stable this thing is. We got a little headwind now. Oh, it feels so good. See if it fights out. No. What, did I just hit a squirrel? Did you guys see that? I think I hit a squirrel. Straight up, he jumped straight in the air whenever I hit, threw that disc over there. Okay. Let's go see if he's okay. So I definitely think I hit that squirrel. <laughs> Comment down below and let me know if you guys think he's okay. I think he's okay. He ran off, so we're going to uh, go get our disc. Throw it one more time, and then we'll end off the video. So far, really liking this disc. It'll hold some turn if you put some turn on it. I've just been throwing it bad on the backhand. Again, guys, haven't really been playing disc golf a lot um, since I started my new job. I only really can play on the weekends and Man, is it just so hot. So I've only been out here for about 20 minutes now and I'm sticking to the shade and man, I am drenched in sweat right now. <laughs> yeah, guys, we're gonna get one more throw in with this thing. Okay, so I've definitely lost some max distance since I stopped doing um, daily distance drive videos and things like that. But we're gonna try to rip this thing as far as we can. Probably only gonna go about 350, but hey, let's see how she flies. I think this is gonna be a really nice distance driver for people that throw about 350 so bunch of hyzer on that and it didn't st <laughs> it didn't stand up at all it's kind of surprising i really thought that would kind of flip a little bit but it just didn't all right guys that's gonna wrap it up for this video i hope you all enjoyed i don't know if i just got a baby arm today or what i would probably give that disc more of like a zero two i'm sure if i had gotten a little lighter weight one in like the one lower 170s probably could easily get some turn off of it off of it yeah i'll be super excited to check this thing out and maybe some fission plastic or something like that i think this could be a really good complement to like the wave or something like that because it does seem to be a bit more stable than the wave um but yeah guys if you haven't already entered in the giveaway make sure you check the link down in the description for that video to go get entered and if you haven't already subscribed to my fishing channel Make sure you guys go do that. We're probably going to be posting about one video a week on each channel. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you go hit that up. We'll leave that in the description too. Yeah, guys, we'll see you all in the next one. Hopefully we can get to 1,000 subscribers soon. Love you guys. Peace.